What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again and into even more news for Rocket League. So, just the other day, we got posted and we're hearing about the summer 2019 roadmap. So, in this video, quick, short, down, and dirty, we're going to jump in, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to do a shameless plug up front. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, you stick around. Hopefully, you enjoy Rocket League. Hopefully, you enjoy just this video. If you do, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Throw a like on it. Throw a comment down below. And uh, we love chatting with you guys. If you aren't new, thank you so much for the continued support. We've just passed the 1,700 subscriber mark. And we just continue to move up steadily. And it's all thanks to you guys. Thanks to the continued support. So we really, really sincerely do appreciate it. Also, in the comments down below, just underneath the video, is all the links for the rest of our community that we got going on. That's our Twitch, our Twitter, and our Discord. Be sure to follow us on all that. Definitely come over, join the Discord. That way you can stay really up to date on everything that we've got going on. Hang out with the community. We can chat with you. And then we're streaming a lot more regularly. Uh, so make sure to follow us on that uh, Twitch over there. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on a stream. And we love chatting with you guys and interacting. So with all that being said, and the plug out of the way, let's jump into this. And let's talk about the Summer 2019 Roadmap. So we've got some really cool stuff going on, and uh, I'm really excited for it. I think it's really cool that Rocket League, right up front, came out and said this. So they talked about a little bit, and they said, uh, you know, talked about the news about Epic taking over, doing the buyout. Uh, they did say this, and I will, I will read this specifically. They said that Rocket League will continue to be shaped by the same development team that it always has, even, our even if our family is getting quite a bit bigger. The game will also continue to be fueled and inspired by the passion and feedback of our dedicated player base, just as it was before. So they don't have any additional news uh, on that as it pertains to it, but I do think that's nice. I do think it's a little reassuring that we talk about because I'm sure they've seen a lot of the comments, a lot of the feedback from the community that they're worried about what Epic could do to the game. Uh, I've seen some really good other YouTubers and opinions on Reddit and a whole bunch of other places, and your comments as well. Um, I still have a little bit of fear, still a little bit of animosity, still a little bit of a concern, but I also do am trying to see the positive side of it, and I think overall it's going to be a, a big benefit to the game, the player base, and everything else like that. With that being said, the Summer 2019 roadmap and what they've got coming inside of it makes me really feel positively about what we've got going on. I've talked about this in some previous videos, but you got to remember that the development cycle for this game, it's months and months ahead of what we got going on. So the reason they can share a Summer 19 roadmap uh, with us is because this stuff has probably been in the works since the beginning of the year, if not sooner than that. Um, so I, I think that's really positive. So let's talk about what they've got. Summer event is going to come with limited time events. They're talking about this being the biggest in-game event that Rocket League has ever had, and it's going to feature several limited time events. The event on the whole is going to share the same currency, which is really cool. So think about it like uh, we've had it in the past. It's been quite a while, uh, but uh, event currency, balloons, whatever it ends up being, uh, it's these all of these mini events, it sounds like, are going to share the same uh, in-game currency. And they found that uh, the event store itself is going to change through this event uh, with different parts or different points uh, as far as the uh, as far as the promotion is going on. So think about it like it being a revolving event store, kind of like they already have uh, for the esports shop and stuff like that, where the stuff inside of it is going to revolve. It's going to change, but the currency is not. You're gonna, still going to continue to earn it. So I think that's really really positive. I think that's a really good move. Obviously, it's going to make it so that your currency, one, doesn't feel like it uh, it's useless if you get a bunch of it because there's going to be new stuff coming out. In addition to that, they have recognized that people, especially if you play this game a lot, are getting a lot of currency that you end up not being able to do anything with. This has happened for me and probably a lot of you in the past where you just you play the game a ton, you get a bunch of currency, you buy everything in the store, you buy the event crate or whatever it ends up being, and then you continue to play and get this currency and you don't have anything to spend it on. Well, here's what they're doing. They're adding XP level up packs in the event store as well. This is the first time they're doing it. And it means that players are going to be able to redeem event currency for these level up packs that are going to grant a full level, 10 tier points for the Rocket Pass. So this is going to be a huge boost for Rocket Pass 3 for you to be able to continue to grind those tiers. And then it's going to really make it 
So without a doubt, if you're playing this game, you're earning XP, you're playing the challenges. In addition to that, you're also going to have this limited time event, which you can then use your currency for that to buy level up packs. All of us are going to be level like 400 by the time <laughs> Rocket Pass 3 is done. I say that totally kidding, uh, but that's a very likely thing, uh, or not likely that you're going to get to 400, but it's very, very good for Rocket Pass. I think it's really good for the community and for this event, because if you do play it a ton, at least you'll have something that you can use that currency for. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think that's a really, really smart uh, system for them to implement. They don't give us a whole lot of additional details of what, the, what this limited time event is going to have or when it's going to start. They said all that stuff will be coming very soon, so they look forward to hearing exactly what we're going to have going on. I expect just like any other limited time event, we'll hear it about maybe a week, maybe a little over a week beforehand, and then it'll kick off, and uh, I look forward to seeing what that's going to bring with it. They also talked about for the summer roadmap, uh, that uh, they're really focused on some community updates and some community feedback things uh, that they've been working on. So they said, and I quote, the community has been asking us uh, for Kirkerways to party up with strangers following a good match. They said that functionality will be coming later this year. They said soon you'll be able to easily party up with teammates from the post-game screen. This is really smart. So if you jump into, you know, let's say competitive twos or threes and you're just solo queuing it and you get with a really good team, you're like, man, those guys are really good. Now in the post-game screen, they're going to have some ability where you can send those guys an invite. You can get right into a party with them and then continue to play the games. Really, really smart ad uh, by, uh, by the team over at Rocket League. They also said that with all these Rocket Pass and all the different stuff that they got going on, that inventories are, are continuing to grow. And they said that calls for better ways to organize all of your in-game items. They said they're happy to say that additional inventory management tools are going to be added in a future update. This is great. I 100% agree with this. I'm also very scared <laughs> about what inventory management tools and the update for those is going to bring. So I'm being a little cautious here. Every time they've brought out an update that does something with the inventory, it ends up usually breaking something else, whether it be trading or whether it be something inside of the management of the inventory. So I really hope they take the time with this one. I'm excited about it. They don't really say specifically what they're talking about. But I'm excited to see what they're going to do. I just really hope they flush this one out and work with the trading system and everything. And speaking of trading, they said one of their long-term goals for 2019 and beyond is to make a bunch of under-the-hood quality of life updates to the trading system, which means they recognize how important trading is, how much of it, how much of the community does it, and how much of community really enjoys the trading aspect. And uh, they said they'll have more to share on what that looks like later on in this year. But it's good that it's on the roadmap. It's good that it's a priority. And uh, it, it is a big driver for a lot of people inside this game, including myself. I do a ton, ton of trading. If you're watching this channel, you know uh, that's the case. And I look forward to seeing what they're going to bring. They also did put a plug in that RLCS Season, season 7 World Championship is, uh, is coming up just around the corner. If you haven't and you want to attend, it's in Newark, uh, New Jersey. You can get your tickets. Uh, they also talked about comp competitive season 10 is ending on Monday. So from this going up, you've got really three days. You've got today <laughs> and the weekend uh, to grind out what you want to grab and hopefully get to that season reward level. And uh, and that's what you got. A couple days left. So uh, if you're close to something, you're close. Put that time in. Get that grind going this weekend. And, uh, and should be really good. They said stay tuned next month for a full reveal uh, of the upcoming event. So we'll see that uh, coming up here pretty shortly. They said also expect to see some of the aforementioned features and more uh, later on as the year progresses. Uh, really, really excited to see this. Again, roadmap, it was pretty simple this time around, but I think it's really good that we see where the game is going, what their focus is, and I'm really, really looking forward to, excuse me, this limited time event. With all that being said, one more final plug. Uh, this weekend, probably this weekend sometime, and I will update this in the Discord, we are going to do our non-crate import trade-ups. Uh, so not sure the time yet. Still working on the time frame, but it will be sometime either Saturday or Sunday. I want to get that done. Uh, so we will definitely post in the Discord when we're going to do that. So just be on the lookout. And again, if you're not joined on our Discord, go in the link below. Uh, check that out and join us over there. And uh, like I said, a lot of good positive stuff coming out for Rocket League. I'm excited for this summer roadmap and uh, excited to continue to hang out with you guys. So make sure to follow us on Twitch, like I said. 
make sure you're subscribed here consistent updates we'll have some market watch some crate openings and some other stuff coming out here in the next couple of days and uh really look forward to chat with all of you i've been dr average gamer guys as always thanks so much for watching catch you in the next one peace